Yes, yes, I'm also here. <laughs> I can teach you more how to cook our local dish, our traditional food from northern region. Thank you. Have what about nice time. Why don't you open up a YouTube channel? Time when it's like the comment below, we can come back and she will teach us. And you also know what Malakwang is. This how we cook Malakwa. To start with Malakwa. Wow, so it's so easy yes. like that. It's even ready, you can see. You can now eat wow. with sweet potatoes. Hey, I can't oh, wait. Wait, But you wait. Now you are mingling sick. It's different. It's different. It's special for pasting hey. sauce. Like malakwang, bo, lapena. This is the mingling stick we use. Wow. Pasting. And today we are having lapena. I know that, yes. Wow. Huh? It's ready. Nice, nice, nice. Pigeon fish, eh? Mm -hmm. Is it clear? Yeah. Pigeon peas, also known as so guys, La Pena, is one of the most enjoyed northern yes. traditional delicacy that you must try any time you come to Uganda. It's mixed, sim -sim it's mixed with dinner. Bo, gobe, ebo, and in English is called peace leaves. It's one of the most enjoyed northern traditional delicacy. You must try this one. It's uh, cooking it. It has a lot such, certain kind of uh, procedure. You will learn it later on in the video. Hi guys, welcome back to our YouTube channel. My name is Jabuel, if you are new. And today I'm here with Ramis, Ramis and Alejandro. Uh, okay. okay. So we are we are eating northern delicacies. These are all northern foods. You can show them. So uh, we prepared them. I'm going to show you actually how the whole sauce, sauce here was prepared here we do have this is called pigeon peas in english in um, in northern uh, in actually it's called la pena here we do have malakwang in actually it's called the uh, it's, it's malakwang i don't know how they call it in english here this is um peas peas leaves in actually it's called bo Mm -hmm. We do have kalo, of course, you know. Here we do have sweet potatoes in a choli, it's called layata. And of course, this is the same thing, just that we are many. Get it? So, in this place here, they do offer water. And by the way, if you would like, they, these guys can do delivery. As you can see, the kalo and all this food is. I'm going to place her number in, in the description below. You can contact her, she can deliver this food to you. They are very, very cheap, very cheap and prepared in a hygienic manner. You, you, uh, we are going to show you how they are all prepared. There's a difference in there. Sugar is much brown, then cassava flour is light.
yeah, she's teaching us how to mix uniformly cassava flour with the sorghum and millet mixed together. This is the real, real color. An African basket, Adera. Odera. Odera. Rice called Adera. Opia. It's for winnowing uh, rice, uh, sorghum, what all those things. Yeah, even ginas, just for winnowing. But it can also be used for. Um, you are going to see. <laughs> You try to do this by removing what is inside it. That goes down before you chop or you cut it for cooking. And see, if there is meal out inside. That's for soil. This is meal This is meal out. That is our thing. Uh, this is. This is okra. 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 We, the yeah, this is okra. The, if you remember the other video I, I made last time, that makes it. Yeah, we call it milot. Uh huh. This one, another kind of okra. Okra. It's also. It's just like okra also. It's a different type. It's okra. I don't give you any gun. There are some guns that they don't use. So as as you can see, she has she's done with shopping, shopping it. The next thing is now to she's the chef. She's going to tell us the the next part. You know, we, we also do cook gobe, but we cook it different way in Tororo. I think when I go back to Tororo, I will show you how we cook it in Tororo. Yeah, I know. This one is a northern way, like northern Uganda. Northern Uganda consists of the the luos, the cholis, the langis, the... Lugwaras are not luos, right? Yeah, they're all the same. With but nine. Oh, okay, Lugwara is in West Nile. Yeah. Okay, fine. In, in, in Northern Uganda, it's purely Luo. Yeah, Luo. So, uh, they are cooking it in that way. There's also Aluri. Yeah, actually, Alur. There are many fries, don't they? Guys, this is called... The liquid inside here is called bicarbonate. It's used for cooking... Uh, uh, bo. Now, yeah, bo is used for cooking bo. Comment below if you want to know how we make it. We can come here. She can teach us actually how to make this here. It's a very essential. It's a very very essential. Uh, uh, they call it what? Um, substance. How do you call it? It's a very essential ingredient. Is it called ingredient? Fine, it's very very essential while cooking northern foods. Almost all. Some people put it even in fish, meat. In fact, this is very very essential. And uh, it's medicinal, by the way. I don't know it's medicine for what. For ulcers. Ulcers and? Ulcers and cough. She said it treats ulcers and cough, but I know it does more than that. So deep for pesky, so we cook malakwa.
Malakwang is a is it a, a plant or is a is it a, is a greens. Green. It's a greens. But the, the name is not there in English. Everywhere is Malakwa. Even in South Sudan, they are, they are it originated from where? Egypt. But I know in South Sudan it is there. It is South, South Sudan is not there. There's no Malakwang in South Sudan. Uganda. It's only in Northern Uganda only. Yes. This one is how we paste Malakwang. Eh? After pasting, this put salt. Not too much salt. Guys, we came late when she had already uh, cooked it. But if you comment down below, if you want to know the full process, right from preparation up to the up to the time when it's like the comment below, we can come back and she will teach us. And you also know what malakwang is. This is how we cook malakwa. It's done with malakwa. Wow, so so easy like that. It's even ready. You can see. You can now eat. With wow. sweet potatoes. Hey, I can't Ooh, wait. With color. But you wait. Now you are mingling sick. It's different. It's different. It's special for pasting hey. sauce. Like malakwang, bo, lapena. This is the mingling stick we use. Wow. Pasting. And today we are having lapena. I know that, yes. Wow. Hmm. It's ready. Nice, nice, nice. Pigeon fish, eh? Mm. Is it clear? Yeah. Uh -huh. So, guys, pigeon fish. I'm going to paste it now with our sim sim paste. Sim sim. Is it mixed sim sim or It is mixed with dinner. I think it's already pasted. Like the heavy soup. <laughs> yes, you need the heavy soup. So you have to leave it there for some good minutes. For some good minutes. At least like 30 minutes. Make it heavy. I can cook. She added bicarbonate in already mm. boiling water. Yeah, and then after, she added bow which is the peace leaves.
have the water that is already boiled. Mm. I've already mixed. This is the actually way of cooking bo or or, or peace leaves. As you may know, it's mixed with the okra, but it's another kind of okra. It's just the leaves, not the okra leaves. There's another kind of okra, which is just the leaves. As you all know, greens are not supposed to cook for so long, so it's almost ready, actually. And one thing you should know that all northern foods are always pasted with peanut butter. In this case, for her, she uses peanut butter, which is mixed with both ginats and uh, simsim. Ah, uh, that one, just a few minutes. This even almost ready. Mm -hmm. I was actually amazed at her cooking skills because she literally prepared malakwang, bo, and uh, la pena in just a few minutes. I, I, I couldn't accept it and she even had to mingle color within a very short period of time. How we mingle color, eh? Kalo is the most staple food in Uganda, whereas matoke is the most popular food in Uganda. Preparation of kalo uh, requires mixing of cassava with sorghum and sometimes millet. 
and then the hot water in is boiled and then mix together <laughs> until you attain the color. <laughs> Mingling kalo can be a little bit tough, unlike ugali, that is a bit soft. With kalo, it kind of pulls you because it is it's, it's tough anyway. Just visit Uganda, it's so diverse with so many things. You'll understand what I'm talking about. Hmm? This is how it means. I want to go. Let's wait. I mean, I want to go. Our car is ready. You can see now. Mm -hmm. This is go. Ready. Today, and you can comment below. She, she prepares very many different sub types of dishes. I mean, northern dishes. You, uh, next time we are going to come and um, and and do that also. For now, we are having this. Let's. <laughs> Get into the eating. So, guys, go back. It's like this. Hey, wait. I think it's prayer first. Let me spread my hands. May God bless this food which we have to receive the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. So, guys, last time they taught us how they eat color. They said that they, <laughs> you have to organize it first. Very, very well. Organize it well. <laughs> <laughs> then you dip a roll, you understand? And you dip And this is where the soup is going. But there's no soup here, thick. Uh, yeah, that's how it's up. Kalo is kalo. 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 Kalo is <laughs> you are missing. Place an order right now. You see? Go to the description. Hmm? <laughs> First, stop the video. Go to the description box and place your order now. Then come back and watch the video. So, this one here is La Pena. Wow. So, La Pena. Just like mm. the sauce. I think it goes. My papa. It goes with what? Okay. This one goes with any. As usual, you understand? Mm. My, but my hole is not dipping very well. It's nice. How does it taste like? So sweet. It tastes like. Um, just like I finished it. <coughs> okay. So this sauce I've I've failed to find out how to taste, but it tastes like pasted beans. But a little much better than pasted beans. 
some somehow like pasted beans but a, li a bit much better so guys let's Ooh. finish the okay yeah let's finish the eating oh, <laughs> and we conclude I know the camera guy is uh, is about to just strangle us. I'm not even sure. You don't want to swallow. <laughs> they are supposed to swallow. <laughs> what you want? Let me enjoy this. My great battle. As you guys see. <laughs> By the way, have you realized that any time we eat? Uh, they are called traditional foods. Yeah. Yes. Anytime we eat traditional foods, the result feeling like you see you see my stomach. As I'm I'm looking like a pregnant MP. You know all these all these all these Ugandan MPs when they go into parliament they start developing stomachs. <laughs> so you see, I almost swallowed. Ah. This is the best ah. 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 So you guys are better than me. Mm. Oh, you, you, you <laughs> Let me show you that I'm also a senior. <laughs> Think you're not better than you can never win me. I'm always the winner. <clears throat> Thank you so much, guys, for watching this video from the beginning up to the end. If you enjoy this kind of content, please, I can kneel down, share the video. Please share, like, subscribe and share we are just simple guys living our own simple life doing our things and if you like if you would like to support us i'm going to leave my patreon account below or, or even my telephone number you can call me for maybe collab maybe you can support me in any way you wish and uh, you can also uh, join my patreon you will be getting um, like this video here we are going to upload it today on patreon you get early access to the videos and you also get full videos unedited the ones on patreon we don't edit so just go to my patreon today now you will get all that for as little as three dollars a month thank you so much for watching bye bye see you again in the next video i'm still coming hey hey sorry Ma, ma, she wants to tell us something. Ma, 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 you come. Yes, 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 yes. I'm also here. I can teach you more how to cook our local dish, our traditional food from northern region. Thank you. Ma, 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 time. Why don't you open up your YouTube channel? I'm about to open. Don't mind. Anytime. Yes. This is the best time. Yes. Not today. I will organize the new open. Okay. Meanwhile, if you would like to they call it what? If you would like to support her, I'm going to leave her number in the description box. The truth is these foods are prepared in a very very good hygienic manner and she cooks them precisely. As you saw how she you you saw it. You get it, you saw it. She is a good cook, she knows it. She knows what she's doing. As you see, she's a woman, eh? and these are traditional foods. In way, way back where she comes from, uh, is something they start teaching them. I think when they are young. But they start teaching when you are how long? I mean, how old? From nine. Yeah, from nine years. So she has. Imagine now she's an old woman, and from nine years old, they have been teaching her how to cook. So she's really good at what she's doing. You get it. Yeah, uh, and she's now fifty years, <laughs> meaning fifty minus nine. But I'm still strong. Forty nine years experience, you can see. Enjoying my able. <laughs> 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 and she's also cool. she likes comedy, like she can make you laugh. <laughs> so I'm going to leave her number. You can just order. You can make order if you are within Uganda. You just make an order, then you will be able to to to, to she will be able to deliver for you the food. And I'm sure you will like them. Bye-bye. See you in the next video. <laughs>